does a child acquire U.S. citizenship? There are three ways, and you might qualify. Come by in L.A. starts right now. week of the first week of January year 2011. How are your days so far? How's your 2011 so far? I hope it's going well. Magandang hapon po mga kababayan. Kayo po ay nanonood ng Kababayan LA kung saan ngayong hapon. Pag-usapan po natin kung paano tayo magkakaroon ng mas makabuluhang bagong taon. Paano po ba natin haharapin ang mga pagbabago sa ating buhay? Yan po at mas marami pang especially immigration updates today for you on the show here on Kababayan LA. Pero bago ang lahat, Dead Men Do Tell Tale, isa pong kwento ng isang kagawad sa Pilipinas na nakunan daw po niya ng litrato ang kanyang ang pumatay sa kanya. We're going to be talking about that right about now. Here is Balita for you. Ronnie Ligo, Editor-in-Chief of Midweek and Weekend Balita. Bago natin pag-usapan yun, Dead Men uh, tell, Telling Tale, pag-usapan muna natin yung immigration uh, update because we have that uh, later on the show. Pero bago yan, meron pong mga hindi... It, this is not so good news for, for us kababayans here, right? That's true. Today, of course, on you know, Wednesday, the U.S. Republicans took over the majority of the House of Representatives. So ngayon, ang una nila mga agenda dyan, eh, nabanggit mo na nga, immigration reform, but this one, it's going to be tighter. Mm. And uh, when they say tighter, ano ro mga mangyari? T is it tighter implementation, or are they going to come up with more uh, laws or bills, more proposals to make uh, immigration, immigrating here very difficult? That's true, no? Of course, ang sinasabi nila, higpit na daw nila ang mga pagbabantay sa mga borders, pero ang pinakamalala dito na proposal is to deny uh, U.S. citizenships sa mga babies born to uh, undocumented immigrants. Yan po ang uh, pag-uusapan na uh, kasi nga yung 14th Amendment ng uh, U.S. Constitution, uh, supposedly, that would grant uh, citizenship automatic sa lahat ng mga pinapanganak dito, eh gusto yata nilang tanggalin yan as far as the Republicans uh, are concerned. And that is what we're going to be talking about more in detail later sa ating uh, American uh, Dream segment with Attorney Richard Lowe. Uh, uh, next news story for now, uh, Ronnie. Also, I'm not too sure that this is good news. Uh, Jerry Brown, California governor, in his speech yesterday sa kanyang inauguration, or uh, was it Monday sa kanyang inauguration, sinabi niya na um, we're going to have to make some painful cuts, painful in quotation marks. Ano ba yung mga ikakat niya sa spend? O oh, nga, kasi nga, ang laki-laki ng utang ng California, no? $20 billion deficit, that is what he's facing no? after seven years of uh, the governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. So ngayon, ang sinasabi niya is we, he will have to uh, cut uh, yung mga appropriations sa mga iba't ibang programa. Although sinasabi niya na education daw may spare yata, pero alam naman natin, uh, tuition fees sa mga public schools have been going up and up every year. So, ang mga estudyante na go-worry dyan. And of course, ang mga masakit dito eh, not only are people going to get hired as far as the local government is concerned, baka makat pa yung mga nagtatrabaho ngayon sa mga gobyerno. All right, Jerry Brown going back to uh, California uh, gover governorship dahil uh, dati naging governor na siya ng California. Ronnie, in your field of expertise as a journalist, how do you think will he fare this time around? The thing is, you know, he's been a governor when he was 36 years old. Ano sa nabanggit mo na nga, now he's 72. Ano yan eh, seasoned politician yan eh. It's either he has it or not. Pero alam naman natin, Jerry Brown uh, knows a lot of uh, uh, politics at alam niya kung paano siguro patagbuhin niya itong California na sinasabi nilang ungovernable state, ano? Uh, but this is the 10th largest economy in the world. So tingnan natin kung talagang kaya niya ng patagbuhin ng California at kung makaahon man tayo dahil we have we are facing 12 to 13 percent unemployment rate. All right, so pansamantala natin iwanan ng Amerika at ang California. Let's go now to the Philippines. Two Britons are detained uh, or Britons are detained because of a job scam? Oo, no, recently in, uh, mga balita natin dito sa Kababayan LA, yung mga OSWs na nai-scam at uh, na, wala naman palang trabaho pupunta sa ibang bansa. Apparently, two Britons Two British nationals were uh, arrested and detained because nagpapatakbo sila ng isang uh, employment agency na gahire daw sila for jobs in Britain pero non-existent naman sila. So itong dalawa ngayon ay inaresto no si Simon John Pace, 
and uh, Nicholas John Vickers are now in detention and awaiting trial. Okay, at sana mausig talaga itong kaso na to at sana uh, ma uh, managot, yung mga dapat managot para naman maturuan ng leksyon itong mga um, even kababayans or non-kababayans taking advantage of people looking for a job outside of the Philippines. Yeah, Mean that's true. Meanwhile, Ronnie, this is an interesting story. Isang tao na bago siya namatay, eh, nakuna niya ng litrato yung uh, bumaril sa kanya. What oh, happened? Oh, nga, no, supposedly dead man, ano, tell no tale. Pero this one, apparently kasi New Year's Day, kinukuna niya ng litrato yung pamilya niya, no? Uh, sa kanilang uh, driveway, kinukuna niya. Eh, nag-appear dun yung gunman. May hawak na baril, ano? Siguro may video tayo or may picture tayo. Papapakita yeah. natin yan. No, nakatutok sa kanya itong uh, si, uh, sinasabing suspect na si Michael Gonzalez, isang car thief na mukhang kasi itong si uh, victim, si Renaldo Darsa, isang uh, local uh, councilman sa Manila, eh siya raw yata ang responsible sa pag-aresto nito last year. At ito na nga, eh, nung nakawala raw out on bail, mukhang binalikan nga siya at nakita nga nila na, na sa mismo litrato na pinabide nilang sa pulis ang pamilya nila, no? Oh. Na nakunan mismo ni Mr. Renaldo. Showing, we are showing the picture. So the 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 guy that was shot dead, um, kinukuna niya ng litrato. He's taking a picture of his family. That was the wife and the mother-in-law and the daughter. And then behind them, they were all smiles, of course. But behind them was the gunman pointing the gun at him. Do you think he he saw it? Oh no, siguro palagi ko hindi natin alam dahil alam natin pag ganyang madilim, no, magre-rely ka na lang sa flash ng camera mo, no? Mm. Pero apparently, yun na nga, nakuna niya, hindi niya rin alam siguro at bigla na lang siyang binarel. So, this is just like a matter of a few seconds or not even a second later. Right. At siya binarel na nga. So, he couldn't react anymore. That's true. Anyway, thank you so much, Ronnie, for sharing those news stories with us. Alam ko, mas marami pang balita. Uh, Midweek and Weekend Balita also online. Oo, sa aming website, ano, www.balita.com. Ano, dumalo po kayo dyan. Meron po kaming balita media. Pwede po kayo mag-upload ng mga videos ninyo, mga litrato ninyo. And it's going to be your own personal media channel. All right. Thank you so much, Maraming Ronnie Laigo. More power to you. That was Ronnie Ligo, editor in chief of Midweek and Week and Balita. Earlier, we discussed some uh, uh, some developments in terms of immigration. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that uh, that in depth when we return on Travel by an LA. Don't go away.